so lame. Yeah, he's downstairs right now. I don't know, kind of like a big Maori guy. He's like looking after the house while they're away. Yeah, he's eating all our food and drinking all my shit. Right there, bro. Hey, mate. You all right? Yeah, I'm just talking to my friend. Oh, I was just wondering if you want to come downstairs and watch some telly. There's one of those telly movies on Sky. Yeah, I'm probably just going to go to sleep, eh? Hey? Got to try. Good night. Take it. Yeah? Can't sleep? Nah, me neither. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Uh, nah, sweet eh? I'm probably just gonna try and go to sleep. Maybe just a quick one. Sweet! Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a noble squire, D'Artagnan, and his young page boy, Peter, son of Peter, and they went looking for conquests. They had already killed the evil dragon and defeated the Google-eyed monster and were on their way to face the evil man-eating giant. Do you want me to sit back on the chair? If that's okay. They happened upon a strange woman who was crying <laughs> inconsolably. <laughs> Fair lady! For what is the cause of this, this discombobulation? Oh, it's my daughter, damsel! She's been kidnapped by an horrible, despicable count! Oh, how could he do this to me? Oh, alas and alack! What am I going to do if only two heroes would come to her rescue? Yeah, um, actually, we were just on our way to slay an evil man-eating giant, so... The Count is protected by an evil man-eating giant. It could be the very same one. All right, we'll take a look then. Uh, do you have any images or photographs of the fair maiden? Oh, yes, I have, actually. I've got a couple. Um, this is her at her cousin's engagement. And that's her at her graduation. She was the <laughs> most beautiful girl they had ever seen. She looks hot in that dress. I prefer damsel in distress. She'll survive! You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy! You must be cautious. But where could such a horrible place exist? Karanga Happy Road! <laughs> Untie me at once, you scoundrel! Well, that's good. Keep it up, love. I like a girl with an attitude. And then again, I like the ones without. I'm not picky. I think you'll be surprised how much you come to enjoy your time here. After all, that's why they call me. Count Baudel de Resny, animal lover. I could never love anyone who licks their own balls. Why are you applying for the position, baby? Oh! And so our heroes embarked on their perilous journey. Maybe You blew it up! Damn you! Damn you out of hell! Planet of the Apes. Do you see anything yet? No, no, don't see anything yet. We probably shouldn't stick around here too long. Do you remember what the old lady said about the badges? What? Ah! Did they freak you out? Well, they're just badges. Yeah, but they're really, really vicious badges. It was an impossible situation. I mean, the squire, he could take three, maybe four badges at most on his best day. But the page boy. What about the page boy? Page boy is just a page boy. Or well, maybe the page boy has magic powers. Well, well, well. What have we got here? A couple of heroes, eh? Well, they've beaten my badges. But let's see how they handle my evil man eating giant. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> An evil man! An, An evil, evil man-eating man giant. Please don't do that. Hey, leave the giant alone. Yes, pick on someone your own size. Fee, fi, fo, from. I smell the blood of an Englishman. 
Not far too actually, but uh, I suppose you don't find too many of those around here. Be you alive or be you dead, I'll grind your bones to make my bread! Sounds like pretty shit bread. Hey, evil man guy, why don't you eat this instead? Well, I've heard of an Adam's apple. <laughs> Shut up, brick! Beat my badges, beat my evil man eating giant. What next? Bodhi! What is it? Got any gear, man? I'm desperate, man. Piss off, I'm busy. I'm freaking out here, man. You still owe me from last week. Come on, man, I'll do anything, is it? <sighs> like what? I'll suck your cock, man. Again? That has never happened. I don't know what he's talking about. Look, mate, I'd unhand her, fiend, before I run you through with my blade. I don't know who you are or where you've come from, but you're a long way from home, sweetheart. And so our heroes found themselves in mortal peril. Well, well, well. Full moon's out and all that. <sighs> Feeling quite kinky tonight, actually. Thinking I might do it. Human style. Mm, yes. My Wolfie, what big eyes you have. Oh. And oh, what big hands you have. Oh. And my, oh my, what a big <laughs> fucking idiot you are! And so they escaped into the night and they all lived happily ever after. It was a really nice story, bro. So, how about that, did he?